press here. Hi, Hi I'm Eliana. And I'm Griff. Hi, you guys. And I was wondering, like, I'm in I'm Not There, there was, like, so many different characters. How, like, how, there's so many different stories. How would you, like, how would you put them all together to make one story? Well, that's, uh, that's a subject of some uh, debate, I guess, whether it's one story or not. Yeah, and whether exactly. that's all right, you know, yeah. that a person's life can actually have many different chapters with many different tones to them and yeah. qualities to them. And that's something that I learned when I studied Dylan uh -huh. and I really wanted to bring to the film. Yeah. But uh, but I do think that there is a continuum and there's the desire to continue to reinvent yourself yeah. and how much uh, freedom that ultimately gives you, you yeah. know. Bob Dylan is such a big American icon. Did you feel any pressure? Like in terms of praise, like wanting to really yeah. uh, like, not be critical of yeah. him in a way. Yeah, sort of. And try and getting. You know, I him. thought it was. I was very lucky because I had a great relationship with Dylan's manager uh -huh. Jeff Rosen, who okay. gave us all the rights through Dylan, and all, obviously. And he what he didn't watch Dog It. He didn't make it. You know, there was definitely some negative characters in the movie, uh -huh. and he he didn't make me change it. He knew that this needed to sort of have warts uh -huh. and all, as to to be a compelling film and to be something that people really thought was exciting and believable. Yeah. The thing about him is since he he kept changing all the time, he could disavow yeah. different people who yeah. he was, and it allowed for more diversity. Mm -hmm. And have you actually gotten any feedback from Dylan? No. No? No. He's sort of a stern type yeah. of guy from what I hear with he's, reviews and he, stuff. He is, and he knows, I think he's hyper aware of how much anything that he says about it is yeah. gonna, it comes with such weight, you know, yeah. and it's gonna be Trying. marketed and put up, you know, and I think that's yeah. more why he has protected himself from it. Yeah, I have one last thing to ask you. Could you sign this for me? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not what I expected. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, actually, just right over there. Um, I'm Griff. G R I F F. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. They don't know why you did, you gave this to me, but we do. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. He was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. Let me add on. So explain what he just signed and what that. The... Okay. Well, there's a movie. It was illegal because of copyright reasons. But he made sort of an underground film called Superstar: The Karen Carpenter Story, and he made it totally with Barbie dolls. And so we decided to get a Barbie doll signed. By him. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. That was so cool. <laughs> that was awesome.